Hello, fellow Jews. How do you do? I'd like to introduce Jewish mom approved. I am getting a juggler. Welcome, everyone, to Jewish Mom Approved. I'm your host, Libby Walker, a.k.a. Cheryl Cohen, and we have an amazing show for you. Our guest today, when he's not juggling fire or butcher's knives on the streets of L.A., he can be found on TikTok. Please welcome our first nice Jewish juggler, Schneer Smith. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hello. Hello, Thanks hello. Thanks for having me. So, First of all, we became friends last year around this time, right? Yes, yeah, around a year. Right here. We actually have a collab that we did together, so I thought we'd take a look back and check it out before I delve into asking you anything. Okay, let's see it. Yeah. Let's see it. Do you remember what it's about? I think so. It's really cringy. I'm, I'm a little scared, but it is what it all is. Right. Well, cue the tape. Cue the tape. Hello? This is Schneer Smith. Um, I'm a huge fan of your TikToks. And I just wanted to say, I think I have a good shidduch suggestion for Chava. A shidduch? Okay, we're getting somewhere. Who's it for? Uh, what about me? Oh, you're a big Cheryl Cohen fan. No. Okay, listen. So you sense. must know my first question, what it is. Are you Jewish? Of course I'm Jewish. I should have known from the name, but you never know nowadays. Oh, that's the non-Jewish there. Doctor, lawyer, yeah. or rabbi. Rabbi. Oh my God! It's like Hashem really does exist because He just answered all my prayers. I don't even need to see what you look like. I will set up the date for you and Chava. Oh my God, Baruch. Cheryl, don't worry. I assure you, you'll have the most beautiful grandchildren. <laughs> so the funniest part about the whole thing is that we did all of it through WhatsApp. Like sending videos back and forth yeah. and like telling each other in audio what to say, but like so weird to look back on that. You like were fully suited up, like what a time, right? It was like and, ages ago. Yeah. In all my TikToks I used to wear suits and hats and things change. It's kinda it crazy. Definitely changed. So perfect segue. So how did you end up on TikTok? Like were you on pre quarantine, post quarantine, like so I downloaded TikTok just like it was like my seventh time making a random account, just like scrolling through apps, scrolling through scrolling through the for you page and seeing other people's videos. Like I never made content. And then one time I made a video. I was like, right. hey, this is fun. So I continued making videos. None of them blew up. They all got like 20, 30 likes. And then I was with one of my friends and we made a Jewish TikTok and it blew up. Um, it got like over a thousand likes and I thought that was really cool and then after I had like 500 followers I was on an Instagram live and someone's like is that the TikTok guy right. and I only had 500 followers so I was like what I was recognized I thought that was the coolest thing ever and since then I just continued making videos and yeah here we are today okay, so you started like do you know the exact date you started or like the first video you posted so I think my first video um probably in March, like a year ago, over a year ago, March, okay. my first video. We started around the same time. Yeah. That's so funny. So, okay, so why do you think it was such, such a success? Like, why do you think you kept going? What, what was it about you that was like, all right, like this one video with thousand likes, like let's mm -hmm. keep going. I think that me and you were of the two first like Jewish TikTokers, you know? Mm -hmm. There were there's there's still a couple around that were around like by our time, but most of the big Jewish TikTokers now are newer. You know, so sure. like, I would say maybe Madeline Schwartz is someone who's been on TikTok the same long as we have. Yeah, and like I'm trying to think who else there was. There was other people that used to be like big on TikTok when we were, you know, starting up. There was this guy Rubik's Twenty. I don't know if you know him. Right. He was on TikTok, and they kind of just stopped making, and I guess we continued and just blew up from there 100 percent. and so you have like a tiktok crush lady efron right uh, you want to speak yeah. on that i mean i originally made <laughs> about six videos in yeah. a row about her because 
you know, it's Lady Efron. Who who wouldn't, you know? And did and, she ever respond to anything? Were you ever close to it? So the closest I've ever gotten was she made, like, so, what, someone went from my TikTok profile and commented on Lady Efron's profile, like, why does everyone have a crush on, on you to Lady Efron? Because they saw my video. This yeah. random person saw my video and commented on Lady Efron's video. So she replied to that comment and made a video saying, like, who has a crush on me? So I commented, I have a crush on you. But then she replied saying she has a boyfriend. So well, that's you know that. what? Let Cheryl know if you need a little bit more of a shit off. Because okay. I can you. figure something out. You never know. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, we, we can figure it out. We're trying to get Lady mm -hmm. Efron here. So here's your PSA, Lady Efron. If this is going to be a tick of talk, is this going to be on the Club of House, you know, whatever. Uh, Schneier, okay, very much loves your stuff. Cheryl, also a fan of your stuff. So do at this if you're interested. You know what I'm talking about. What is your Jewish background? I mean, obviously you care about Judaism enough to create a TikTok surrounding it. There's obviously so much going on with Jewish TikTok, as you know, I'm sure too. Like so many things have to go through. Like, what is your Jewish background? Your story? How does it revolve around your content? So I grew up in like a very, very ultra orthodox home, like a very religious home. Um, and it was, it was great. Like a lot of people say it's like very constricting, very like, you know, and I'm, I'm not going to say there are a lot of rules, right? Mm -hmm. But I feel like eventually you grow into your own person and it, those rules, you could either choose for them to be a part of life or you choose not to. And a lot of times people have like a lot of anger towards it, being that there's so many rules. I personally, I don't feel angry. I feel like eventually I turned into my own person because of it. And in a good way, like I learned so much and there's things that now I choose to do as opposed to being forced to do it. Yeah. Because growing up in a, in a family that's really, really, really religious, they, there's a lot of expectations. How many people are in your family? I'm one of 10. Mm -hmm. I'm the second to oldest in, in a family of 10. Can you give yeah. us like the, the timeline of everyone? Yeah, so my, my older brother is 21, I'm 19. Then I have a younger brother who's 17, he's almost 18. I have a sister who's 16, another sister 14, another sister who's 12, another sister who's eight, another brother who's six. Then I have a sister who's four and a sister that's two. Okay, and who's your Jewish mother's favorite? My Jewish mother's favorite? Probably my older brother. Probably the oldest. <laughs> so she actually does have one. I mean, she'll say she doesn't, but Love it. we all know. And so, did you? You were one of the older ones. Were you like raising a lot of your siblings? Like, were you like the good big brother? Or you like leave me alone, let me film a TikTok, brother. A bit of both. <laughs> I, think, I would say usually the the leave me alone. You know, I, I do my own thing. Like this, this pace off, I, I just sat and like, because I, I have college, right? I'm a yeah. student, college student at Turo. And I was just doing like my, my homework the entire time. And like, everyone leave me alone and like lock myself in my room. And So you're yeah. in what year of college again? Yeah. I'm a, what? I'm a, like what year? Yeah. I mean, I had, I got to transfer a year of yeshiva credits. Okay. That's 24 credits, and this is my second year, so I'm technically a junior. And how old are you? I'm 19. Look at this 19-year-old entrepreneur, rabbi, doing all the right things. Take note. Yeah. You know, very, very good, very good. Thank um, you. And so what's, like, your dream role to do? Like, do you want to long-term do TikTok? What are you majoring in? Like, what what is the ultimate thing for you to do, you think? So right now I'm majoring in psychology and that's like a, a job that it's not a job I'm looking into like long term. I don't think I'm going to be a psychologist or a therapist. I think that that was like a, an inspiration somewhere where I wanted to be like over a year ago. Mm -hmm. Right now, I don't think that's what I'm looking at. I think I'm more, I, I'm more looking into either real estate or web development I just got, um, I just got real I estate, the properties. Yeah. So I worked, uh, I'm building two websites for two clients right now, um, using WordPress, which is a web development. Like it's like Wix, similar to Wix. It's a little mm -hmm. more complicated though. 
So what is your mom thinking of all of this? The real estate, you know, she's thinking of the tick of talk, you know, whoa, 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 what's your mom weighing in here? What is she thinking? The Jewish juggler, mm -hmm. you're very multifaceted, very mm -hmm. impressive. Thank you, thank you. I mean, she sees she sees the TikToks that I want her to see. I, I my content can be sometimes controversial. Mm -hmm. um, In what way? It's not. I don't think Jewish mothers would approve. Mm. You're not putting it. <laughs> um, no, it's it's nothing, nothing nothing terrible there's nothing bad it's, it's i'm a very i grew up in a very ultra orthodox family i understand yeah so it's it's not something that but like, does like he no think it's cool for you to become like a jewish influencer i think so i think my parents are very proud of me they're they're happy okay. that I'm, I'm spending time on tiktok as opposed to um wasting my time like watching movies or tv shows all day i think she's more proud of that time Sometimes depend depends what. <laughs> depends what. Love it. So okay, so we know you are a Jewish juggler. I want to know a few things about like your story of juggling, and then you have juggling stuff near you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Grab your juggling stuff. I'm going to ask you questions as Cheryl Cohen while you juggle, and you need to respond rapid fire as you can, as if you're my son. All right. Sounds good. There's just. I don't want to hit the chandelier, so I have to move it a bit. All right. Okay. Ready? Tell me when. Three. Ready. Two. One. Why weren't you home on time? That's I. That's I don't know. I don't. Why were you hanging don't. with that kid Simon again? You know I don't like him. We were out of bringing together. Don't talk to me. Did you study for your chemistry exam? No, not yet. So Sorry. you don't want to be a doctor. You know, I met this Jewish girl at the kosher market last week, and you should go there next week if she comes back. Are you interested? I'm very interested. Don't forget we're going to Bobby's 80s for dinner on Saturday. Sounds good. I'm excited. Oi, vey. You and your generation with this telephone. Why are you always on the tick of talk? This is What Do You Do? Jewish Mom Edition. When your mother texts you, where are you? What do you do? I call her back right away. When your mother makes a meal, what do you do? I eat it until I feel like I'm about to die. And you say... Wait, what? Thank you. You say thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, the book. Keep going. When your mother says the house is dirty, what do you do? Clean it. There you go. Okay. Without being asked. When your mother embarrasses you, what do you do? Um, take it. Take when your mother tells you, go get married, Schneer, what do you do? Call Chatham. When your mother asks if your friends are hungry, what do you do? Tell her yes. Thank you for playing. Very good. Reflexes, yeah. doing very good. So now we're going to like the two last fun questions. And these, you know, are questions that we ask everyone. So it's very important that you pay the most attention right now. Like you're juggling focus right now. What would you consider a good bagel? And is a bagel a sandwich? I actually... Okay, so what would I consider a good bagel? <laughs> so I think that every single bagel that I've ever had had a rating. Okay. And I would start with in Crown Heights. There are two two bagel shops, Bunchos and Wholesome. Wholesome bagel is not the good one. Oh, well, he was Bun prepared. Bunchos is the good one. You have to remember. You have to go and you have to ask them to toast the bagel, and you have to put cream cheese on, on it. And it's okay. a really it's a really good bagel. You could either get the everything bagel or you could get, you know. So you're saying just bagel cream cheese? Yes, I would say bagel cream cheese, but it has to be from a specific store. Okay, so no I'm lox, not, no lox, I'm not, no lox. I'm not a lox person. And you hate gefilte fish? Hate gefilte fish. Passion. So, but is it a sandwich? Is it a sandwich? Um, I think this is a very, very deep question. People sometimes fail to realize it. Because at the end of the day, it does fall into the family sandwich, but it, it doesn't have all the qualifications of a sandwich. It is not two slices of bread together, but at the same time, there is two pieces of what we could call bread. It really would come down to the question of saying, is bagel bread? Is bagel so something? Yes or no? Um, is a bagel a sandwich? One word. I would say, I would say at the end of the day, yes. Moment. 
Yes. Mm. While it does not look like a bait, does not look like a sandwich, mm. it is still a sandwich. That is, my, that is my opinion. When I can you prove go it. out and your friends say, yo, bros, let's get sandwiches. Oh, real estate. Yeah. TikTok. Yeah. You come out with a bagel and cream cheese. Every time. What Every time that hell? happens. Every time that my friends say that, I bring them bagel and cream cheese. And okay, no well, one you wants you said You said you could prove it. So prove it. Okay. I actually made a TikTok about it. Uh-huh. Right. You and, stitched mine. You stitched I don't my really video. Remember. I stitched your video. Uh -huh. I don't really remember exactly what I said. Pretty sure I Googled it. And I, I said that if if a bagel is Hamaitzi and br bread is Hamaitzi, mm -hmm. if bagel and bread, that's the bracha, the blessing you make is Hamaitzi, um, then it, it's classified as bread. If it's classified as bread, what is a sandwich? A sandwich is two slices of bread that's put together. So mm -hmm. if a bagel is two slices of bread that's put together, it's Maybe technically bread. The blessing just doesn't understand the difference between a bagel and a sandwich. And there needs to be a new blessing. And I got to go talk to the rabbinicals about this as soon as I there finish. Is, I, I'm not saying they're the same. I'm, I'm calling the rabbi. I'm calling, I'm calling I'm rabbi, rabbi. Angel. Calling I'm rabbi. calling rabbi Angel. I'm calling rabbi Sherman. I'm calling rabbi Hirsch. I'm calling every rabbi I know, bro. Sounds good. Oh, go no. for it. I'm right. Please. I'm All right. Well, the last question, the very last ultimate question. On a scale of one to 10, how Cheryl Cohen is your Jewish mother? Oof, that's a good question. 10 being like so Cheryl, like literally identical. Um, I would say like an eight. I would say an eight or nine, which is, which is so pretty like eight, You can use a decimal point, like 8.5. 8.7. 8.7. Okay. Explanation. Okay. So my mom's the, the nicest person I've ever met and she's the best. Mm -hmm. She's the best woman I've been in the world. Like she's the greatest mm -hmm. human being ever. Thank you for watching. Do you have any good stories of your Jewish mother? Leave a comment below. Okay. S as in Schneer. C as in Schneer. H as in Schneer. N as in Nair, E as in Er, uh, U as in Ear, and R as in R. Jewish mom approved.